Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to learn about animal husbandry or breeding. So let's get started. First, you want to go ahead and increase your animal husbandry skills. So if we look at mine, we go to skills, we go down to skills, and then nature. And you can see that my animal husbandry is 42.35. Now, for every 10 points you have in animal husbandry, allows you to care for one additional animal, plus when you breed an animal, allows for one additional trait. So, uh, theoretically, if I breed an animal, I can have up to four traits come out of that animal, good traits and the bad traits. In the description below, I went ahead and linked um, the Wormpedia wiki article about different traits. You can go ahead and read more about that later. But for now, how to breed two horses? Well, breeding two horses is pretty simple. You find a male and a female horse. And to find out if it's male or female, you go up to it. Okay, you click it and then right click or examine. And it will tell me she is a very strong and has good reserve fat. So she, she, this is a female horse. And this guy next to her, if I click it, right click, examine, he is very strong has a good so i have a male horse and i have a female horse and i want to breed these two together well there's some steps that you want to do first you want to make sure that they're full you want to make sure they have food you can either feed them manually by um, highlighting or activating pumpkins or seeds or what have you and feeding them uh, forcefully so let's go ahead we'll actually go over here we're gonna pick up uh we're gonna let's pick up some pumpkins here uh, we're going to harvest these pumpkins. Okay, so I have 10 pumpkins. I'm going to come over here. I activated my pumpkin. Activate my pumpkin. Right click and feed. He's not interested because he's full. Um, crush him. We can try to feed him some seeds. Feed. Not interested. He's full. Well, that's, that's fine. That's not a problem. So... After you make sure that they have food, you want to go ahead and brush them out or groom them. Grooming is pretty simple. You just activate or, or create a grooming brush. Activate it. You right click on the horse or the animal and groom. And it's going to groom. And we're going to go ahead. We have to make sure both of them are groomed. So I, I just groomed the male. Now I'm going to groom the female. All right? And you can see that it says that the it seems pleased and that that would mean that the animals groomed sometimes if you have low animal husbandry you're going to have to attempt it more than once cuz you'll fail okay after you groomed and after they're fed you want to go ahead and lead one of the horses to another one so they're on the same tile and then breed them so i activated my horse i'm going to right click on my male horse lead my male horse i'm now leading him I'm going to go over to my female horse. I'm going to right click on my female horse and I'm going to breed. And now they're getting intimate. 30 second timer. Remember the lower your animal husbandry skill, the least likely or the opportunity you're going to have to be successful. However, if you are not successful and it says that she shies away or he shies away or he's not in the mood or she's not in the mood, in 45 minutes you can uh, try again. So you can breed every 45 minutes or attempt to breed every 45 minutes. You can groom every 45 minutes. So, you know, if one animal is not interested, just try again. So we can see that uh, they get intimate and the horse will probably give birth in a while. To find out how long it takes, you're going to examine the female horse. And she will deliver in about seven. That's seven weeks. So I think it's like 23 real life hours equals one week in worm. So in seven days, I'll have a new fowl with hopefully four traits. Now I'm still leading this aged horse and I wanna go ahead and prepare for the next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead him over to this other female horse and just stop leading him there. So let's go ahead and try that again. I have a pair right here. I have a male horse and here I have a female horse. I'm gonna groom him. Okay, because I have my brush activated. And I'm going to groom her. And she's pleased. And then I'm going to go ahead and lead my male horse 
and breed with my female horse. And 30 seconds. Now, the next step we're going to talk about in about 15 seconds is how to increase our animal husbandry skill. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Anytime you groom, anytime you breed an animal, you increase your animal husbandry skill. So after she becomes pregnant, all right, give birth in a little bit, we can go ahead and examine her. How long is it going to be? In 11, 11 weeks. It's kind of a long time, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a random thing. So let's increase our animal husbandry skill. So if we go to scales, we can see that my animal husbandry has increased to 42.4. I'm going to go ahead and just start with this rooster. I bound my groom. So if I open my uh, win console, I can bind G groom. It makes it a lot simple, a lot faster. And I just highlight over these animals and I groom. And you can see how my animal husbandry is going to increase with every uh, successful and sometimes unsuccessful grooming action. That's it. So, you know, every 45 minutes, you just come here. You just groom the heck out of all of the, all of your horses, all of your animals. So like that, that one failed. Okay, she seems pleased. Groomed, groomed, and you just do it. Keep doing it. Now, I want to also talk about after your horse has given birth, you're gonna have these cute little Maryland fowls. Okay, if you examine the fowl, it will tell you that uh, if it has a trait or not. So this one has no traits. Let's examine this one. This one can carry more than average, which is wonderful. So we have one that can carry more than average. Let's examine this one. Nothing. Let's keep going. What about this one? Carry more than average. Extremely well nourished. That's not a trait. That's... um. Oh, lightning movement. So what what the traits are, it's just like, you know, breeding other things. If you breed two animals with either the same trait, you're going to have a higher likelihood that that trait's going to be dominant and come out in the offspring. If you breed two animals with different traits, then you're going to have a higher likelihood of the, of the offspring having both of those traits. So both, it can carry more than average and it has lightning movement is a good trait. Or they're great traits to have in your horses. And so I want to breed those two horses if I can. So this one has strong legs and it's a female. This one is a female. And let's see here. What about this one right here? This little guy. He, he has very strong legs. So I would breed the Iron Ben, okay, with uh, this horse over here with lightning reflex, lightning movement. The other thing that you have to worry about is inbreeding. And inbreeding essentially means that if two animals have the same parents, then they're going to have some poor traits. Now, you can circumvent that by either killing the parents. Okay, it says the mother is aged fat horse and the father aged fat horse. It's hard to tell because with wild animals, they don't have names, which is why I keep my horses even if they don't have names so I can prevent inbreeding. Now, if you get an animal with a poor trait, and I don't have any right now, but if you get one and you have a faux priest, you can cast Genesis on that animal and it will get rid of that bad trait. So, uh, thanks for watching. We're on the Mythmore server. Come join us. Tell them that Moot brought you. Uh, come join me. I'm just north of the starter deed. Thanks for watching, guys.